Here we go. Round, round three. three of five, Joe Rizzo, for the lightweight championship belt here in the UCC. It's interesting, during a, a, a non-title fight, round three, you're coming up to the end. Right now, as the bell rings for round three, you're not even halfway through the fight, potentially. That's true. Good point. Cholish now keeping Machado's back against the fence. Delivering a knee to the spot where he's delivered many kicks this fight. That's the outside left thigh. Wisely attacking that lead left leg because uh, Machado likes to use that to push off on that single and double jab. And that could slow him down. Nice inside elbow on the break by Cholish. That's a very effective move, the inside elbow on the break. And I'm surprised that fighters don't make that part of their repertoire, especially good grapplers. I agree. I was always taught to close the door on the way out, and that inside elbow is a great way to do it. Now Cholish looking for another takedown as the fighters come right in front of us. Cholish has Machado's back to the fence. Good head position by Josh Cholish, staying low, keeping his hips in. A little hand fighting. That knee drops some sweat right onto us. Well, onto me, anyway. Now we've got blood and sweat. And tears, Joe. I don't know about tears. Who was crying? But I'll tell you, uh, next event, I'm going to bring my umbrella or a poncho. <laughs> Machado, I think, has to work a little harder to establish that oh, jam and uppercut. Good combination. Lead it right uppercut with a straight left to follow it up, and it worked twice for him. Cholish immediately goes for the takedown and takes down Machado into side control. And he didn't want any part of that combination. It worked very well for Machado, that lead uppercut, lead uppercut. The urgency of a takedown after a good punch usually is a pretty good indicator of how hard that punch was. Yeah, it usually means that the fighter was hurt or at least acknowledged it and felt it. Uh, Cholish must have felt it because he got that takedown in a hurry. I don't think he was in danger of being knocked out, Frank, but he definitely could have put himself in more trouble if he was continuing to stand there and getting himself against the fence. I have to agree, Joe. Jo uh, Josh Cholish has had excellent success with his takedowns. He's got excellent training in his wrestling, and uh, they say that you will always fall back to the highest level of your training under stress. And uh, that's exactly what he did. He got caught with a good combination, and immediately shot in, like you said, and uh, effectively could take them. Lightweight title fight at UCC2 in Jersey City. John Cholish working in the guard of Hitalo Machado. Machado got off his back, but Cholish doing a good job. Controlling his hips, staying centered on him, and keeping him down, flat against the cage. And they will break him. Kevin Mulhall breaks up the fighters. We'll go back into the center of the cage. Just about halfway through this fight, two and a half minutes into the third round. So far, tough to call. I'd have to give a little edge. Based on the takedown and ground control and the effective strike from Cholos, but uh, Machado put up a great fight. If Machado could keep establishing that jab, I think it'll open up a lot more for him in the following rounds, but he's got to start protecting himself from those kicks. I agree. There's two in a row, and that one had some effect. You can yeah, see you can how see he went. Yeah, you can see the left leg slowing down, down a little switch bit. Stance. And he that checks time he checked out. it. A sure indication that he's starting to feel it. That was a nice move by Cholos, faking the left kick into a Superman punch. And again, that lead uppercut by Machado finds this mark on the chin of Cholish. Fake jab, thigh kick. Very nice, Muay Thai displayed by Cholish here. He knows that leg kick's working. Frank, if you have it in your repertoire to fight nice. Southpaw, is this the time to start doing it? Well, that's going to do two things. It's going to change up your game plan, and it's going to let your opponent know, like, yeah, your leg kicks are working. I don't want any more of that. And uh, that's going to open up doors to other things. You can see I was already more conscious of checking and fading away, which slowed down that double jab and that lead uppercut that was working before for Machado. Nice. Oh, continues to land those hard kicks. Nice. He needs to come up with an answer. Now, he tried to catch it and come with the overhand right. I like that strategy, but it may be too little too late at this point. Those leg kicks starting to take their toll. 
Well, he's got to be able to use that jab to, to keep those leg kicks at bay. And that will do it for round three.